Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey on my phone, just started phantom charging. Hello, how are you doing? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with another fake red order video. What are we doing? The same thing we do close to this time. We're going to be looking at the next coming events for the month of February for fake grand order North American version. We're almost done with January. Not much for us to go through, so we'll see what's coming up in the game in February. And I wish you all the best of luck if you're continuing to do the event for Little Big Tengu. There's not much time left, so let's go into it. So how do we know what's coming up in February? This is pretty easy, but I'm just, just so everyone to know. There's a JP version of the game. It is two years ahead of us, so it's pretty easy for us to see two years in the future. But sometimes they add things that were not there previously. There is also another version of the game that is like a m slightly like a month ahead of us, and we can sometimes take a look at new banners that are going to come for us that way. But for the most part, we don't really know on that part. But let's take a look at what's coming up in February. So, oh, obviously, the thing that still hasn't come out for us yet is this. The uh fgo memories of memories 3 release commemorative campaign i don't think this came out yet yeah this also comes with a summoning campaign here which has there are no raid up servants there's literally no reason to summon on this don't summon on this uh there's a rare prism exchange and we get this little c here which gives plus 50 mystic code exp for clearing a quest and we get some little stuff here i actually think this is actually up now if i'm remembering it correctly let me actually look at the na version because i actually think it's already in the game <laughs> Just to be sure here. Let's see, expanding. Yeah, we already have it. It has to be in here. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I don't know where the hell this is. Feel free to tell me on that one, but uh, we'll see. There's this one already there. So the next uh, f event likely to come after the Tengu one is the Holy Grail Front et tu Brute, which is a Holy Grail Front. Pretty simple. I think there is a summoning campaign related to it where you can get a lot of the Roma servants. A lot of the ones related to it anyway. Where there will be a banner for... <laughs> this is probably going to be a rotating one. I'll be interested to see if they divide them between these two. So Altera will be on it. Romulus Quernus will be on it. Nero Claudius will be on it. Astrea, uh, Caesar, Romulus, and Bodica. Everyone's favorite Roman servant, Bodica. Um... Not a Roman servant. Very sad backstory. But anyway, let's go on. <laughs> At the time, raid up, it will start like this. And then the next one, the raid up will be Quernus, then Altera, Quernus, and then both of them shared together. That's how it was originally. Though I have a feeling when this comes over, there'll be two separate banners. The reason they've been doing this is because originally when this came out on JP, there was no... Um, <clears throat> there was no pity so they could still get away with doing banners like this because who cares if it switches out every day. But it's not like that anymore. Every single one of these switches indicates <laughs> indicates that the pity has been reset. So chances are we'll just get two banners featuring them. Depending on how much they care about this. If they don't care about it at all, then we will get zero changes for it. But yeah, this is just a grail front. This is going to be completely dependent on the person, how much you're going to end up enjoying this. I always like these, but that's because I have like 5,000 servants all fully maxed out and ready to go. There are apparently some people who only have servants that are like um, the basics of what they need and who they like, and they don't actually fully ascend everyone. So I kind of understand that not everyone can be built like me in that instance. But yeah, this is how the schedule will go. We'll get the first one. Followed by the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, and then boom, we done out of here. Easy event, and this goes on for at least... Is it two weeks? Let me see how long is February 3rd to... Yeah, two weeks. So not too bad. Uh... Valentine's Day. This is a big one. So in this one, it's a Valentine's Day event. There's a por points rewards. I feel like Valentine's Day has gone in... A lot more complicated as time has gone on as they've added more and more female and male servants. Though, to be fair, it's mostly female. It's not that many male servants. Um, it makes it much more complicated, but at least the events are usually worth it at the end of the day. So, this maybe it's more annoying for me, who has, like, the chocolates of absolutely everyone. So, for the most part, a lot of these are useless to me. But anyway, here's the summoning campaign for this one specifically, which is features Karen... Who is a member of the not specifically Fate Stay Night? It's the I think it's the Hollow one, the one that features Angramanu and Bazit. 
But yeah, here's Karen. She comes up and I think she's in the body of Cupid, if I remember correctly. She's going to be the banner unit uh, for this one. And I think there will also be a raid up featuring a whole bunch of female units. I don't know. I have no idea how the hell they're going to do this year, this banner at all. I'm going to be real with you. I think there will be likely that there will be a singular banner that will feature Karen. And then the other banner will feature all the... There will be two ever separate banners that feature all these characters. But in theory, you'll have a chance to get Altera, uh, Songzong, Artemis, Jack, Jean. Uh, these are all separate banners. Banner 1 would feature <laughs> Banner 2. This is so complicated. But either way, on the 12th, there will be Altera and Songzong. And then on the 13th, there will be Artemis and Jack. On the 14th, it will be Lancer, Alt, uh, uh, Saber, the, the Lion King. Ruler Jean, uh, what is your name? Uh, Europa, there you go. Europa and Dioscuri, everyone's favorite female character because it also comes with a man. And then on the 16th, it's Anastasia and Bradamante. On the 17th, it's Osaka Behime and it's Maeve. And then on the 18th, it is Nightingale and Tamamo, the caster version specifically. Alter Ego, uh, Setonia on the 19th, along with Moon Cell Janako. I don't know why they started saying, I don't know why I started saying the class. On the 20th, it is Classic Saber with her favorite son, uh, Morgan. And then on the 21st, it is Richra, because of course she's not actually coming back at the end of the year, but she's also here with Drake. And then on the 22nd, it's a 1 2 combo, my favorite girl and my brother's favorite girl. <laughs> it's Quetzalcoatl and Shirazade on the 22nd. And yeah, I have no idea how this banner structure is going to be now that we have pity. God, if I only knew, I would be able to finally get Quetzalcoatl and pity again. I'm so close to getting NP5, I may as well try it. I probably, I have very low, I have very low. When it comes to Quetzalcoatl, I have to look away from the game. Because if I don't, I will just automatically spend on whatever banner she's in there. It's a really bad issue for me, to be honest, but... um. I love Quetzalcoatl so much that I think I'll still end up throwing away everything I have. But anyway, we also have these CEs. I don't think there's any specific CE, but they're all very cute art. And then, of course, we get a whole bunch of scenes. So this is going to be what Valentine's Day is going to be looking like. A very basic Valentine's Day event. That's going to be coming up. We'll also have a campaign rerun featuring the old Valentine's Day units. Or is it just one of them or is it both of them? I think it's just, say, featuring the old Valentine's Day CEs. This, uh, comma one, very nice looking to look at. And then, in theory, we should be also getting the 23 million downloads campaign, which should feature Boy Arthur, aka Boy Saber, which will get some extra missions from this, which is for leveling servants, which is very easy for me to get. Some additional limited extra missions will also be there in the mix. A login bonus will be there, so we can get 10 easy free tickets. Login rewards bonus, easy schmoony, easy good stuff. And then, of course, the summoning campaign will feature Boy Arthur, Arthur Pendragon prototype, actual, aka actual Arthur. And I think we'll also be able to pick from. This is where we get the. No, 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 that's. Uh, I'm thinking of Caldea Boys, but it features all the old boy CEs like Talk of the Hot Sands. Detective Edmonds, Spring Equinox Travel Log, As You Wish, Cafe Camelot, Outrage, Operation Fiona. Or F Fiona? I don't know. Quatre Fuelis, Neverland, and La Siesta. Which is, is like, this is a great one. This is the one where Merlin's like being all like coy on it, I think. I think this is the best Merlin C. Even though you can't see him on here. This is the best Merlin C. Anyway. And that should be it, kind of what you would expect from February, and I think early March, we'll see. Uh, I don't think we get Slapstick Museum in February, but we'll see how kind of time allows it for stuff. But yeah, that's basically what you can expect for February. Depending on the person, this is either going to be a very easy month for you, or a very easy skip for you. Um, there's not actually that much. Um, Valentine's is the big one. A lot of people do seem to really like Karen. Um... So I wish you the best of luck while going for her. And like I said, even though I said this is a very easy skip for most people, I will end up tossing everything I have for Quetz because 
I don't have any self-control. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Uh, tell me what you're looking forward to the most. If you watched it all the way here till the end, thank you very much. I appreciate it a whole bunch. You can always leave a like. It helps out the channel a whole bunch. And it makes, I think, YouTube be happy with me. I know YouTube is happy whenever I release a, f a fake Grand Order video. They're like, you should do more of these. And then I go, what if I did some stuff that's not this? They said, well, then we're going to tank your video. Your videos. <laughs> And they said, that's okay. As long as I can do both, then I'll be perfectly happy. So thank you very much for the support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Best of luck to you. Until next time, goodbye.